Welcome to my channel Flights Assistance. Emirates Airline Baggage Policy. Emirates offers varied baggage allowances based on route and ticket type. Economy passengers are generally allowed 20-35 kg, while business and first class get 40-50 kg. Carry-on for economy is one piece up to 7 kg, and business, first class passengers can bring two pieces, totaling 14 kg. Always check specific route restrictions before flying. Here are some main points about Emirates baggage policy as of 2021. Class-based allowance. The baggage allowance depends on the class of your ticket. Economy. 20-35 kg depending on the fare type. Business class. 40 kg. First class. 50 kg. Peace concept. For flights to, from the Americas and flights originating in Africa. The allowance is based on the piece concept. Economy. Two pieces up to 23 kg each. Business and first class. Two pieces up to 32 kg each. Excess baggage fees. If you exceed your baggage allowance, there are excess baggage fees, which vary depending on the route and weight. Size restrictions. The sum of the dimensions, length plus width plus height, of each piece must not exceed 150 cm for checked baggage. For the piece concept, the maximum dimensions for a single piece of luggage are 150 cm. Hand baggage. Economy class passengers can bring one carry-on weighing up to 7 kg. Business and first class passengers can bring two pieces, with a combined weight of 14 kg. Infant allowance. If traveling with an infant, you can check in one piece of luggage weighing up to 10 kg, plus a collapsible stroller or infant carrying basket. Sports equipment. Some sports equipment can be carried as part of your standard baggage allowance. If it exceeds the allowance, regular excess baggage rates apply. Prohibited items. Like all airlines, there's a list of prohibited items that can't be packed in either checked or hand baggage. This includes things like flammable liquids, sharp objects in carry-ons, etc. Lost or damaged baggage. If your baggage gets lost or damaged, you should report it immediately at the airport. Compensation policies are in line with international conventions. Skywards members. If you're a member of Emirates loyalty program, Skywards, you may be eligible for additional baggage allowances or discounts on excess baggage based on your membership tier. Always check Emirates official website or contact the airline directly for the most accurate and up-to-date baggage information. Safe travels. Emirates airline lost baggage policy. Emirates Airlines' lost baggage policy involves tracing misplaced baggage and returning it to owners. If not found within 21 days, it's considered lost. Compensation claims can be made based on international conventions. Passengers should report missing bags immediately at the destination airport. Compensation limits vary. Always review the latest policy on the Emirates website. Reporting lost baggage. If a passenger's baggage does not arrive, they should report it immediately to the Emirates Baggage Services Desk at the airport. Delayed Baggage If the baggage is delayed, Emirates will make every effort to deliver it to the passenger as soon as possible. They also might provide daily essentials to affected passengers. Compensation for Extended Delays If a bag has not been found after a certain period, the airline may compensate the passenger, subject to applicable international conventions. Interim Expenses Depending on the circumstances and the length of the delay in returning the baggage, passengers might be entitled to claim interim expenses. Tracing baggage. Once a passenger reports their lost or delayed baggage, the airline uses a global tracking system called World Tracer, which will search for the bag in the worldwide database. Damaged baggage. If a passenger's baggage arrives damaged, they should report it immediately at the Emirates Baggage Services desk. Compensation or repairs might be provided based on the severity of the damage and circumstances. Limitation of liability. The liability for lost, damaged, or delayed baggage is limited based on various international conventions, such as the Montreal Convention or the Warsaw Convention. It's crucial for passengers to be aware of these limitations when seeking compensation. Claim submission. For lost or damaged baggage, Passengers are generally required to submit a claim within a specific period. Always refer to the airline's policy for the exact timeline. Exclusions. Certain items are excluded from liability if they are packed in checked luggage, 
such as fragile items, perishables, or valuable items. It's advisable for passengers to keep such items in their carry-on or to declare them if there's an option. Baggage insurance. Emirates recommends that passengers have appropriate travel insurance that covers their baggage. This insurance can provide additional coverage beyond what the airline offers. Remember that this is a broad overview, and details may vary depending on specific situations, routes, and changes to the airline's policy. Always consult Emirates Airlines official documentation or contact the airline directly for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Emirates Airline Baggage Tracking Policy Emirates Airline offers a baggage tracking service for peace of mind. Using a unique reference number, passengers can track the real-time status of their checked luggage through the Emirates website or mobile app. The airline ensures transparency in case of baggage delays, providing timely updates and assistance for retrieval. Baggage Tags Once you check in your luggage, Emirates provides you with a baggage receipt for each piece. This is essential for tracking purposes. World Tracer System Emirates uses the World Tracer System, a global baggage inquiry system, to trace and recover any lost baggage. Lost and found. If you cannot locate your baggage upon arrival, you should report it immediately to the Emirates airport staff, who will help create a report using the World Tracer system. Baggage status. You can check the status of your lost baggage report through the Emirates official website by entering the report number. Temporary compensation. If your baggage doesn't arrive at the destination, Emirates might provide temporary compensation to help you buy essential items. The nature and value of compensation can vary based on circumstances. Delayed baggage. If your checked baggage is delayed, Emirates generally aims to return it to you within 24 hours. Damaged baggage. If your baggage is damaged during the trip, you should report it immediately upon arrival. Emirates may offer to repair or compensate depending on the nature and extent of the damage. Baggage claim. For lost luggage, once it's found, Emirates usually delivers it to the address you provided during the reporting process, unless you've arranged for a different collection method. Compensation for long delays. If your baggage isn't found within a specific time, Emirates might offer compensation. The compensation is usually in line with the Montreal Convention guidelines. Always keep essential items. Emirates, like most airlines, recommends that you always carry essential items in your hand luggage, such as medications, important documents, money, jewelry, etc., to avoid inconvenience in case of delayed or lost checked baggage. Again, the baggage policies, procedures, and features of airlines can evolve over time. Always refer to the official website or direct communications with Emirates Airline for the most current details. Emirates Airline Flight Booking Emirates Flight Booking offers a seamless experience for global travelers. Known for luxurious service and world-class amenities, this leading airline connects major cities worldwide. Prioritize safety, comfort, and reliability with Emirates' easy-to-navigate platform for stress-free travel planning. Website or application. Start by visiting the official Emirates website or downloading their mobile application. Ensure you're on the legitimate Emirates website or app to avoid scams or misinformation. Select destination and dates. Input your departure city, destination, and preferred travel dates. Emirates provides options for one-way, return, or multi-city bookings. Passenger details. Enter the number of passengers and select the travel class, economy, business, or first class. Search flights. Click on the search button to get a list of available flights that match your criteria. Select flight. Browse through the available options, paying attention to the departure and arrival times, duration, and price. Once you've chosen, click on your preferred flight. Seat selection and add-ons. Depending on the fare type you've selected, you may have the option to choose your seat or purchase additional services like extra baggage or special meals. Enter passenger information. Fill in the necessary details for each passenger, ensuring that names match the information on the passports. Payment. Choose your preferred payment method. Emirates accepts a range of payment options including credit cards, debit cards, and some regional payment methods. Review and confirm. Before finalizing your booking, review all the details to ensure they are accurate. Confirm the terms and conditions, and if everything looks good, proceed with the payment. Confirmation and tickets. 
Once your booking is successful, you will receive a confirmation email with your e-ticket and itinerary. Always save this and maybe print a copy for your records. Remember to sign up or log in to the Emirates Skywards program before booking if you want to earn points for your flight. Skywards is the airline's loyalty program, allowing passengers to earn and redeem points on flights and services. Always check for travel advisories, visa requirements, and any travel restrictions related to your destination, especially in light of changing situations, such as the global COVID-19 pandemic. Safe Travels Emirates Airline Manage Booking Emirates Airlines Manage Booking allows passengers to view, modify, or upgrade their flight details online. Users can select seats, request special meals, add frequent flyer numbers, and make changes to their itinerary, ensuring a seamless and personalized travel experience with the renowned airline. Login or Identify Booking Users either log in to their account or provide booking reference, PNR and their last name to access their booking. View Current Itinerary once logged in or after entering booking details, users can view the full details of their itinerary, including flight times, dates, and destinations. Change flights or dates. A common feature is the ability to change the date, time, or even the route of a booked flight, subject to fare differences and change fees. Select or change seats. Users can view the plane's seating map and select their desired seat or change their current one. Premium seats or extra legroom seats might be available for an additional fee. Add or modify in-flight services. Depending on the airline and the ticket type, users can pre-book meals, request special services, or even upgrade their in-flight entertainment package. Enter or update passenger details. Essential for international flights, users can enter details such as passport information, visa details, or frequent flyer numbers. Add baggage. If the ticket doesn't include checked baggage, or if extra baggage is needed, it can often be added through the Manage Booking feature, sometimes at a discount compared to airport rates. Request Special Assistance For passengers with reduced mobility or other needs, requests for wheelchair assistance, guide dogs, or other forms of aid can be made. Check-in online Many airlines allow online check-in through the Manage Booking section. Upon check-in, Users can often download or print their boarding pass. Cancel or request refunds. If plans change, users can typically cancel their booking. Depending on the fare conditions, a refund might be available, or a voucher credit for future travel could be provided. Always refer to the official Emirates website or contact their customer service directly for the most accurate and up-to-date information on managing bookings. Emirates Airline Boarding Process Emirates Airline, Dubai-based carrier, offers a luxurious flying experience. Priority boarding for premium classes and Skywards members. Modern fleet, primarily Airbus A380s and Boeing 777s. Elegant interiors, superior in-flight entertainment, complimentary meals, and renowned service. A leading choice for international travelers. Check-in timing. For Emirates, Passengers are recommended to check in at least 3 hours before the flight's departure time. Online check-in is available 48 hours to 90 minutes before flight departure. Boarding Pass After checking in, ensure you have your boarding pass and passport handy. This can be a paper copy or a digital version on the Emirates app, depending on your preference and the facilities at your departure airport. Gate Information Look out for flight information screens to know your boarding gate number. Keep in mind that some terminals are large, so allocate enough time to reach your gate. Boarding Zones Emirates uses a zoned boarding system. First Class, Business Class, and Skywards Platinum and Gold members are given priority boarding. Economy passengers will be boarded based on seat rows or zones. Boarding Time Boarding usually starts 45 minutes before the departure time. Ensure you're near the gate and ready to board when your zone or seat row is called. Carry-on baggage. Emirates has strict regulations on carry-on baggage dimensions and weight. Make sure you are within these limits to avoid any last-minute repacking or fees. The general allowance is one piece of carry-on luggage, like a laptop bag or a handbag, for economy class passengers and two pieces for first and business class passengers. Security procedures. Just before boarding the aircraft, there might be additional security checks. 
Make sure to cooperate and have your boarding pass and passport ready. Children and Special Assistance Families with young children and passengers who require special assistance are usually allowed to board first, ensuring they have ample time to settle in before the rest of the passengers. Final Boarding Call If you're running late, pay attention to announcements for final boarding calls. If you miss your flight, you'll have to go through rebooking procedures, which can be costly and time-consuming. Onboard Services Once on board, be aware that Emirates offers a wide range of entertainment options through their ICE system. Depending on the class, passengers will be provided with amenities like blankets, pillows, headphones, etc. Ensure you're familiar with the seat functions and make yourself comfortable for the journey. Always refer to the specific guidelines provided by Emirates before traveling, as policies and procedures can be updated over time. Emirates Airline Flight Change Policy Emirates Airline allows passengers to change flight bookings, though fees may apply depending on ticket type. The cost varies based on the fare conditions of the original booking. Flexibility can depend on the ticket purchased. It's essential to check specific ticket conditions and consult Emirates official guidelines for accurate and up-to-date information. Flexible changes. Emirates had introduced more flexible change policies during the COVID-19 pandemic, allowing passengers to make changes without penalties in certain circumstances. Change fees. Depending on the fare conditions of your ticket, there might be a fee associated with making changes. Difference in fare. If the new flight you're changing to is more expensive than your original booking, you'll typically need to pay the difference. Rebooking window. The airline might offer a specific window in which changes can be made without penalties. Validity period. Some tickets have a validity period, and changes need to occur within that time frame. Online changes. Emirates allows passengers to make changes online through the Manage Your Booking section, depending on the fare conditions. Refundable versus non-refundable. Not all tickets are refundable. If you've booked a non-refundable ticket and decide not to travel, you won't get your money back, although taxes are typically refundable. Skywards members. If you're a member of Emirates Skywards, their loyalty program, there might be more favorable conditions or reduced fees for flight changes depending on your membership tier. Promotional fares. If you've purchased a ticket under a promotional fare, it may have more restrictive change conditions. Travel bans or restrictions. If there are sudden travel bans or restrictions put in place, Emirates, like many airlines, typically offers more lenient change policies or even refunds. Again, always consult the airline's official resources or contact their customer support to get the most accurate and up-to-date information regarding flight change policies. Emirates Airline One-Way Flight Ticket Price Emirates Airlines one-way ticket prices vary based on factors like destination, class of service, booking period, and seasonality. Factors include the departure and arrival cities, cabin selection, economy, business, first class, and current promotions. Prices can range from affordable regional fares to premium long-haul rates. Always check Emirates' official website or trusted ticket platforms for accurate and up-to-date pricing. Route and distance. Popular routes, e.g., Dubai to London, might have different pricing strategies compared to less popular ones. Additionally, longer routes generally cost more than shorter ones. Time of booking. Prices can vary significantly based on how far in advance you book. Last-minute bookings might be more expensive, although sometimes there can be last-minute deals. Travel class. Emirates offers several classes of service, including economy, business, and first class. The higher the class, the more expensive the ticket. Time and date of departure. Flights during peak seasons, holidays, or on popular travel days, e.g., Fridays, might be pricier than those in off-peak times. Airport taxes and fees. Depending on the airports of departure and arrival, there could be varying levels of taxes and fees which impact the final ticket price. Demand and availability. If there's high demand and fewer seats available, prices are likely to go up. Conversely, if there's low demand, airlines might offer promotional fares. Fare type. Airlines, including Emirates, offer various fare types with different conditions. Promotional or sale fares might be cheaper but come with more restrictions. Fuel costs. Fluctuating global oil prices can impact airline ticket prices. 
When fuel costs rise significantly, it might be reflected in ticket prices. Currency exchange rates. For international flights, currency exchange rates can influence ticket prices, especially if you're purchasing from a different country than the airline's base. Competitor pricing. If other airlines offer similar routes at competitive prices, Emirates might adjust its pricing to remain competitive. For the most accurate and up-to-date pricing, you should visit the official Emirates website or consult with travel agencies or booking platforms. Remember that sometimes third-party booking sites might offer different rates than the official airline website. Always compare before making a final purchase. Emirates Airlines Low Fare Calendar Emirates Airline, like many other airlines, often offers tools and options to help travelers find the best deals. A low fare calendar is a common tool used in the airline industry to display the lowest fares available over a month or longer. As of my last update in September 2021, here's a generic list of some points on what a low fare calendar might entail, although specifics might vary. Monthly view. A visual representation of an entire month, showcasing daily fares. Color-coded prices. Days may be color-coded to quickly indicate cheaper versus pricier dates. Adjustable routes. Allows passengers to select different departure and arrival destinations. Class filter. Options to view fares for economy, business, or first class. Dynamic updates. As you adjust dates or destinations, the calendar updates in real time. Hover details. Hovering over a date might display details like flight duration or specific fare conditions. Link to booking. Direct links to proceed with booking the selected low fare. Promotional deals. Special promotions or deals may be highlighted. Peak versus off-peak. The calendar may illustrate peak travel days versus off-peak days. Alternative airports. Suggestions for alternative nearby airports that might offer lower fares. Historical data. Some calendars offer a view of historical fare trends. Notifications. Option to set up alerts for when fares drop for chosen destinations. Mobile integration. A mobile-friendly version for booking on the go. Fare breakdown. Details on the fare, including taxes and any additional fees. Comparison feature. Allows users to compare prices on different routes or months side by side. Always refer to Emirates Airlines' official website or contact their customer service for accurate and specific details on any tools or features they offer. Emirates Airlines Pet Policy Emirates Airlines' pet policy allows animals to travel as checked baggage in the cargo hold. Exceptions include guide dogs for the visually impaired, which can travel in the cabin. Specific regulations, health documentation, and appropriate containers are required. Costs vary based on animal size and destination. Always consult Emirates' official site for details. Cargo transport. Pets, with few exceptions, generally travel in the cargo hold and not in the passenger cabin. Guide dogs. Guide dogs for the blind or deaf are allowed in the aircraft cabin on certain routes and must comply with specific requirements. Booking. Pet transport should be booked in advance, and there are specific regulations depending on the departure and arrival destinations. Pet containers. Emirates requires pets to be in IATA-approved containers. The size and type of the container will depend on the pet's size and breed. Health certificates. A valid health certificate from a vet is required, and this must be presented during check-in. Requirements might vary based on the destination. Restricted breeds. There are certain dog breeds, primarily brachycephalic, short-nosed, ones, that Emirates might not transport due to health concerns. Transit in Dubai. If you're transiting in Dubai with a pet, there are specific guidelines to be followed, including possibly using the Dubai Animal Reception Center. Fees. Transportation of pets is generally not included in the baggage allowance, which means there will be additional charges based on the weight and size of the pet. Temperature restrictions. Like many airlines, Emirates may have restrictions for transporting pets when temperatures at the departure, layover, or destination airports are too high or too low. Country-specific regulations. When traveling to certain countries, there are specific rules, regulations, and quarantine requirements for importing pets. Ensure that you're aware of these before traveling. Always ensure that you thoroughly research and prepare when considering flying with your pet to ensure their safety and comfort. 
Emirates Airlines Unaccompanied Minors Policy Emirates Airlines Minor Policy ensures the safety of unaccompanied minors traveling alone. Children aged 5-11 must use the unaccompanied minor's service unless traveling with someone aged 12 plus. For minors 12-15, the service is optional. It includes dedicated staff assistance, priority boarding, and supervised transfers. Always consult Emirates website for detailed and updated information. Age Limits Emirates usually categorizes unaccompanied minors as children aged between 5 and 11 years old who are traveling without an adult, aged 18 or older. Mandatory service. For children aged 5-11 traveling without an adult, the unaccompanied minor service is mandatory. For those aged 12-15, the service is optional. Service fee. There's typically a fee associated with the unaccompanied minor service, which may vary depending on the route. Dedicated staff. Emirates provides dedicated staff to accompany the minor from the point of departure to the final destination. Documentation. Additional documentation may be required for unaccompanied minors, including notarized letters of consent from parents or guardians. Lounge access. Unaccompanied minors may have access to the Emirates lounges at certain airports. Onboard care. Flight attendants are informed of unaccompanied minors on board and ensure they are well taken care of during the flight. Transit assistance. If the minor's journey involves a transit, Emirates staff will assist the child during the transfer process. Pickup procedure. The person picking up the minor at the destination airport must provide identification and may need to be listed in advance as an authorized individual. Not allowed on certain flights. There might be restrictions on unaccompanied minor bookings on certain flights, such as the last flight of the day to a particular destination or on flights with a high likelihood of disruption. Always ensure you understand all requirements and procedures by consulting with Emirates Airline directly before booking a flight for an unaccompanied minor. Hope you like this video please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.